How you doing? This is BK from ManfulWars.com. Uh, we're promoting polite patriotism to help nice ladies and gents offline teach kids to look, talk, and feel great. And uh, to help us locally discuss and share worldwide, great online info we get excited about offline to help our neighbors think for themselves and get uh, better people in better places to live, better politicians, better results, demand more instead of just accept whatever we get. And uh, it's currently Friday, April 3rd, 2020, and uh, I'm just north of uh, College and University, the Toronto Healthcare District, uh, just after 1 p.m., 106 p.m. And uh, I'm going to go take a look and show you what's happening. Um, and I'm playing cold play Speed of Sound, and I've <clears throat> been saying at the Speed of Sound how things began and, and how we can make sure things are cool. Uh, if guys do something besides fight to be a bitch, um, you know, if they fight harder to be a bitch than anything else, you know, pretend grumpy, sketchy girlfriend or wife, busting your balls, don't say anything, just impotent while they're a mess near you. You can't just look at that shit, it's too ugly, stressful, and confusing, so you have to do it back. Uh, and then you don't respect each other, and you gotta go bother strangers like zombies, try to bother them, make them all jittery or make them spaz out back until they start acting sketchy and turn to zombies who can't get along with each other and go look for nice people to attack, right? And uh, this has been happening for the last few years, getting worse, getting softened up for something like this uh, COVID-19 pandemic crisis, um, and uh, they're unable to do much with each other except bother each other, piss each other off, and then uh, wander around bother strangers trying to piss them off, turn them into zombies who bother people. So that's an issue. So um, I'm going to go take a look uh, at the Toronto Healthcare District, and we'll see what's going on. And if men uh, uh, stop fighting uh, as hard as they can to be a bitch, uh, then they'll help each other man up, and, uh, and then they'll be able to calm down. Uh, really, straight guys don't want to look at each other anyway. They're going to be impotent while they're acting like pretend grumpy, sketchy wives and girlfriends. They can't switch to anything nice. Really, straight guys, nothing to look at, no one to look. But girls being a bitch, she can just switch and go, oh, sorry, this is a girl, just being stupid, be, please be nice to me. She can switch to something nice and relaxed and vulnerable and attractive with a regular guy. And guys can do it, you know, girls, kids, gay guys, maybe trans, some can, some people are just jerks, but just generally speaking, right? So, but, um, yeah, but, um, so that's the issue. So, um, so we'll see. Uh, if guys want to man up, help each other man up, help women and children chill out, uh, and then uh, they'll stop fighting to be a bitch harder than anything else. Instead, they'll say, oh, I got something on my mind, I don't want you to just be my grumpy, sketchy girlfriend while I'm impotent, can't say or do anything, just put up with you, but, yeah, I can't look at that, it's too yucky. So I have to do it back, and then we can't respect each other, then we go bother other people, so... Um, if they can fight for that, then we should be good. If not, then, you know, what else can we do, right? So, there you go. So, uh, BK from ManforWars.com. Let's take a look. So, this is College and University. There's one of Toronto's finest. That's my big, busy guy, both trying to make sure people are cool. As you don't bother each other, should be fine. Offline manpower is an essential service to make sure people aren't all screwed up, make sure people are informed and empowered and fine, make sure people aren't doing stupid things, make sure you can help the cops with the purge, help some old lady cross the street or stop her from getting mugged with her groceries, if people are nice to each other. If not, you got to keep your self-respect, don't lose yours, take anybody else's, don't be a mess. Zombie, zombie! Not my wife or girlfriend, i got to explain to these people looking. Not my, not my ugly wife or girlfriend freaking out on me because we were arguing and now they're doing it in public and they don't care who's here or whatever. A zombie, zombie, zombie. So. Uh, it's so embarrassing. It's like, it's like yours or something. Uh, this is a stranger. Met poor mentally ill stranger. Shake, it's the poor mentally ill person shaking near strangers. Can't explain why. You don't bother them back. You don't bother other people. You just you know, self-respect, mind your business. Everybody feels happier. They like being ignored, want to stop, everybody relax, feel better, mind your business, and be nice to each other. And uh, you have a little self-respect, don't be a mess for your kids, family, or friends. So, um, yeah, why well, do you do the opposite? So, um, so this is the healthcare district. There's been a lot of conflicting reports out there about exactly what's going on. Uh, obviously, there's probably some sort of serious uh, uh, flu, nasty flu bug. There's also people in charge that uh, may want to drag this out to increase their power and control, maybe make some money at the lower levels and so on. And so we've got to mitigate that. We've got to mitigate the virus, share some health tips, not act rude and sketchy, make each other uncomfortable, not be able to communicate, talk about martial law, what do we want to, you know, martial law type conditions, and talk about the possible depression, trying to avoid that. We can't try and save 100,000 with the flu and then kill 10 million with the depression. And be like, hey, this worked. You know, or we can't just do this all the time. Like, uh-oh, another flu, everybody inside, you know. You gotta find some better way to mitigate this. Lots of things you can do. Vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc, and uh, you know, tonic, you know, quinine in it. Hydroxychloroquine's already been proven to cure people in uh, several different countries, hundreds of people within three to six days. Even celebrities have been cured by it. And yet they won't mention that much. I know that Trudeau, our miserable weak line, bitchy man, sellout prime minister, doesn't work for Canada anymore. 
He works for Globalist, the United Nations World Government, Trans-Pacific Partnership. There goes our trade policy. We can't draft trade policy anymore. UN Global Compact on Migration. There goes our migration policy. We have to keep our borders open even during a pandemic. Paris Climate Accords. There goes our, our, our environmental policy. We have to hike carbon taxes 50% even while Canadians are losing their jobs. So that's because it's not just incompetence or ideology, it's because he's working for the globalist UN and we have to mitigate that and get more nationalist leaders if we can make sure our people are informed and empowered. We want to try to find us, keep an eye on things. So, yeah, how you doing? Those guys trying to make sure people are cool. You know how it is. Offline manpower is an essential service. If men make sure everybody's cool, help cops with the purge, you know, they can't be everywhere at once when people are going crazy and robbing each other for groceries and acting stupid, making sure nobody can be nice and communicate well, so, um, so yeah. Well, you guys stop, you guys stop, be fine, and everyone else will stop. Well, I think straight guys, I don't want to look at each other, uh, nothing to look at, no one to look up, put up me anyway. And everyone does it, you can't respect each other. It's just zombies, right? You just make your friends into zombies, and you bother each other, can't do anything, then you go look for nice people to attack. Those nice people over there bother them. Yeah, make them all jittery. Make them spaz out back. Make them zombies. That's the sort of zombiosis process. So, it's fairly quiet. It's sort of late lunchtime here. And uh, as prisoners, even on theprisonplanet.com, um, you know, even the worst hardcore prisoners are allowed sort of one hour outside, get a little sun, get their cardiovascular in order, because you don't want to be a bigger drain on theprisonplanet.com healthcare system. So, um... So even serial killers and murderers and rapists and all that, they're typically allowed an hour out just to exercise, because otherwise you have to do even more to take care of them, right? But you just, you know, get solitary, you know, get out for an hour, get some sun, run around. Now, back in the hole, You're back in the hole, right? So, but otherwise it's even worse, right? Because what if you have a heart attack? What if you this and that? What if they have to try and spend more money on you, save you? So, you know, you're typically allowed an hour out of exercise, even if you're locked up in solitary. Yeah. It's okay, it's fine. I mean, you can't put poor mentally ill person shaking your strangers, can't explain. If every man, woman, and child were armed with zombie apocalypse prevention technology, like a newspaper, we just do what we used to do. We just everyone on the subway looks at their newspaper, the poor sketchy person hitting themselves in the head and running around, uh, shaking near people, everyone just politely ignores them, and uh, everyone happier, and they either, you know, keep shaking and run away, or they get a little peer pressure, they calm down, they sit somewhere, they're, not, they're happy, well, that's all they can do, right? So you can't, you know. It always worked. I was a kid, still works today. So, uh, you know, there's not printing many newspapers right now because it's this pandemic, I think. You know, I got new now magazines, so I'm using some old crappy ones here. But since I was a kid, poor sketchy person shaking near strangers, can't explain why. Not your wife or girlfriend or something, what's wrong, or calm down, let's talk about it later. And uh, you just look at your newspaper on the subway, all 50 polite Canadians look at their newspaper, look down, look away. And the poor sketchy person shaking near strangers can't explain why. Just runs around shaking near everybody. Nobody pays attention and they run away. Well, they chill out. Everybody happier. You don't bother them back. You don't bother other people. That's not nice. And uh, that's life. Right? Yeah. You know, or zombies. You know, people make each other zombies. Can't do anything. They go attack nice people. They wander around all day and night looking for nice people to bother to turn them into zombies. So. All right, so this is the Toronto Healthcare District. And a lot of good people here are doing a lot of good things. Something happens, definitely can help you, but just like the media uh, puts out some good news to sell some bad news, like they do some good work to sell some bad, there are some evil people involved in the, in the medical establishment. We have to mitigate some of their efforts when it comes to drugs or vaccines or whatever. Second leading cause of death is like, uh, is like uh, uh, bad drug reactions, right? over prescribing or something went wrong or whatever so lots of good things especially triage work break your leg guy sets your leg puts it in a cast you're good but this sort of long-term chronic care stuff you'll see people like well i started off with one pill but then it made me sick so i take another pill and then another pill then they're up to 20 pills a day and uh, it's because that's sort of by design right so i suppose here you go here's your problem here's your pill but triage work much better at break your leg something happens boom fix it done like, wow how did you do that i broke my wrist in 70 1700 places 
Yeah, we took six hours and stitched it together, and you're, you'll be fine. You know, give it a, give it a six months. It's like, wow, that's amazing. But uh, but other stuff we've got to mitigate when it comes to uh, the evil people in, in, involved in some medical tyranny that uh, may be using this crisis to sort of gain more power and control. So, yeah, men man up and help other men man up and chill out. They stop fighting so hard to be a bitch. Make it the most important thing in their life. Pretend bitchy, sketchy, zombie girlfriend or wife. Um, and then make everyone do it. And then blow back's a bitch. They can bully people into being a bitch with them. That yeah, bitch rips their balls off. So you get it both ways. So, ah, I bother you. You're not going to respect me. Oh, shit. You're bothering me. Now you don't respect me. Oh, shit. So they're kind of screwed that way. Well, people nice. You know, it's a crisis. People want to be nice to each other. Less selfish. Bothering people. In case they need people. So, so it's good. Labatt Family Heart Center, Hospital for Sick Kids. Again, some incredibly people, incredibly smart, dedicated, courageous people doing incredible work here. And some really evil people using the cover they give you to get away with some really evil shit that you can't really question. So we've got to kind of separate the two. Now, I trust experts, you know, but I also trust experts who question experts. You know, if Dr. Evil were just to put his pinky finger in his mouth and say, I'm a doctor, all you can do about the flu is stay home, wash your hands, and stay away from people. <laughs> You're like, hold on, Dr. Evil. You can do more than that. There's vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc, a tonic, a quinine. Is that, come on. No, 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 Dr. Evil. Let's get a doctor in front of his name. Doesn't mean it's always right. You know, so. Oh, zombie, zombie, zombie. Zombie sees any human activity, and zombie tries to make it a zombie. Zombie sees people relaxing and minding their business, being nice to each other. Zombie attacks, tries to make it a zombie. Zombie sees people talking, starts to get worked up, act sketchy. Tries to make sure nobody talking. You, you zombie too. What else do you do? You can't look at that shit. It's too yucky. You have to do it back. And you're a zombie. You, you can't get a lot. You go attack other nice people make zombies. So that's the sort of zombie process. There you go. It's fairly quiet here. A oh, zombie, zombie, zombie. Well, you're not embarrassed. No, it's your old lady or something freaking out on you. I don't know you'd be embarrassed about it. No, it's okay. This poor mentally ill person shaking near strangers. You don't bother them back. You don't bother anybody else. You quietly ignore it. Everybody's happier. So, that's why every man, woman, child should be armed with zombie apocalypse prevention technology like a newspaper. And the poor mentally ill person shaking near strangers, everyone used to just look down at the newspaper, look away, and they'd finish shaking and run away. Or they'd just go, ah, oh, you know what, peer pressure. Maybe I can calm down. And they just sit there, relax, enjoy the subway ride like everybody else. Everybody feel better. So, Otherwise, well, they don't care. They see any human activity and they try and turn it into a zombie. They see people minding their business and being nice to each other, smiling, looking at, talking to each other. And they get worked up and act sketchy and try and turn, make you kind of put up with it. You can't look at it. It's too gross. You have to do it back. And then uh, you turn into a zombie. So that's a zombie process. Oh, no relation. Zombie, 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 zombie. Don't think it's my wife or something. Hey buddy, what the hell's going on? Are you arguing? Not mine. It just does that near people. You know? I get how awful it is when so your wife is like mad at you in front of other people and freaking out on you and stuff, but it's just a zombie. It just does that near everybody. You don't like it, and it does near other people. They don't like it. And uh, that's about it. And it'll try and make you do it, because you can't just look at that shit. It's too gross. So, uh, you know, you can't sit there for five minutes and say, sure, go ahead. You say, ah, yeah. So, you kind of have to do it back, and then you turn to a zombie too. So that's the zombie process. Oh no, it's a zombie, zombie, zombie. Zombie doesn't care if it dies from the flu. Zombie doesn't care about social distancing. Zombie just wants to bother people. Zombie runs too close to people, bothers people, forces you to see something ugly you're not gonna like, and then, and then tries to make you a zombie. Zombie, if you're near zombie, zombie will act sketchy. You try to use English near zombie or French or another human language, zombie will start touching its head and face and hair and wiping and scratching and, and you'll just give up. You'll be, ah, never mind. And then you'll have to do it because you can't just look at that shit, it's too ugly. And then, uh, and then you'll turn to a zombie. And then, you, then the two of you, if you can't be nice to each other, look at, talk to each other anymore, you'll go look for nice people to bother to make them zombies. So that's the zombie process. So, oh, zombie, zombie, zombie. Don't think it's my ugly ass wife arguing in public, bothering me. It's a zombie. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Zombie, don't think it's my ugly ass wife mad at me in public, still pissed and sketchy and shit. Bitchy and sketchy. It's a zombie. He does that to everybody. You can't look at it, you have to do it back, but then you turn to a zombie. Then you have to go, can't look at each other, you have to go bother other people, try to make them zombies. You can't be nice and look at it, talk to each other and stuff.
So just south of University in Dundas. Well, I know you'd be blamed for or embarrassed about it. You can't be blamed like buddy. You and your old lady get, you know, settle down before you come in here. Like, it's not mine. It's just a mentally ill person that just does that near strangers. You start shaking, working, scratching, bothering you. Doesn't explain. You're just impotent while they're a mess. You can't just look at that shit. It's too ugly. You have to do it back. And then you're both zombies. Then you and your kids are zombies. Your family, your friends are zombies. Can't be nice to each other. Can't look at, talk to each other. Then you have to wander around looking for nice people to bother. And right now, zombies are desperate. They're desperate. Because, oh, they're used to trying to turn hundreds of people a day into zombies. Now, because of quarantine, there's only a few dozen people around. So every time they see another human, they're like, ah, you put, put up with this, you're not going to like it. Uh, somebody put up with this, they're not going to like it. That's zombie. Not like normal humans, crisis, want to be nice, less selfish, bother people, get along, what if you need somebody? That's different. But the zombies are desperate. Well, if they see human behavior, if they see you minding your business or being nice to someone, or looking, talking, feeling good, they'll fucking, they'll go crazy. And they'll try and turn you into a zombie. That's zombie behavior. Well, it doesn't care. It doesn't care about anybody. It doesn't care if it dies from the flu. It's a walking dead. What does it care? So, but if men help people stop, then it should be all right. This men go out and look at each other, nothing to look at. You know how to look, force you to. Regular straight guys. Make everyone do it till everyone just doesn't bother people. You're not going to like it, but I have to force you to look at it anyway. And then, uh, you know, the guys calm down and girls and kids calm down. People put each other in a good mood. They can be nice and talk. You want zombies, make sure you can't. That's the, that's the zombie way. So, well, it doesn't care about the coronavirus. It'll, go, it'll run too close to hundreds of people a day. Just trying to force you to see them look ugly and run away. It doesn't care about not spreading the virus or anything. Zombie, not normal human. Normal human be like, no, 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 social distance. Polite Canadian, be nice to each other. Not attack anybody who's a nice, polite Canadian. Try to turn them into a zombie. So... Oh, men help people stop. Men stop. Hey, yeah, you're English. Put up with this. Yeah, no English anymore. Or French or whatever you want to use. They start acting sketchy. And, yep, put up with this. You can't do anything. So. Well, then we're all dead. But if guys fight harder for something besides being a bitch, you know, someone's bitchy, sketchy, pretend girlfriend or wife, uh, then, then other people will stop. And then they can fight to be a man and fight to sit for their people, fight for their country. And, they can kind of, you know, be like, oh, you know, I'm too busy to play, play, play the pretend bitchy, sketchy girlfriend zombie game. Act sketchy with you, force you to put up with me. You know, make you act sketchy with me, because you can't just look at that shit, it's too ugly. And, uh, you know, you should be fine. You know, otherwise, mathematically, probably all dead, you know? So, not to deal with the virus, you can't talk about what to do about the virus, just shut up. Just uh, stay away from people, wash your hands, stay at home. They can't talk about too about the martial law, you know, what, what about our rights, what about whatever. You just have to sort of act like a zombie. Oh, you try and talk near a zombie, see what it does. See it start touching its head, face, hair, getting worked up, acting sketchy. That's what it does to people who speak English, or French, or whatever. Or if, if you're minding your business, you're acting like a human, basically. That's what it does, so. Go across the street here. So this is the healthcare district. Oh, the zombie can't do anything except make more zombies. And so when there's a quarantine, there's not many people around to try and turn into zombies. The zombies used to running too close to hundreds of people a day, bumping into them, just to force you to see them act sketchy, look ugly, run away. Now zombie lonely, zombie only have every two minutes dozens of people. Hey, you, whoever you are, you're not gonna like this. I don't give a shit, put up with it. Ah. A zombie, right? So, but when lots of people around, they can just do that all the time. You're not going to like it. You're not going to like it. Put up with this. No, I tricked you into looking at that. So that's, that's zombie stuff. Oh, men help people stop. It's fine. Regular straight guys. They want to load each other. Nothing to look at. No one to look. Make everyone bother each other. Act like a lying, bitchy, sketchy, bully. Pretend wife or girlfriend zombie. Just busting your balls, you're impotent, you can't say anything. Grown ass man or woman or whoever, you can't say anything about putting things in the mess you. You can't look at it, it's too ugly, stressful, confusing. You have to bother them back. Think you're both zombies. You can't do anything to you. You have to go look for nice people to bother. You spend all day, all night just running around looking for nice people over there, getting along or minding their business and just try and attack them. Try and force them to put up with something they're not going to like. 
Zombie, not like human. Wants, wants people to like him, wants you to like, you know, wants to be nice, wants you to be nice. Zombie. Wants to bother you until you don't like it or you bother them. And they make more zombies to do it. A zombie. Now you go near him, you see what happens. You try and use English near him or French or whatever, you see what happens. Within 30 seconds, they'll start acting sketchy, getting worked up, bothering you. You yeah, forget it. You just act sketchy. You're like, oh, now what? Let's go make more zombies. Let's go run near strangers and buy them. A zombie. Humans don't do that. Humans want to be nice people, want to be nice to them. It's different. And it's your wife or girlfriend and she's still mad at you in public and they're worked up and making you put up with it and make everyone uncomfortable and you deal with it. You say what's wrong, let's talk about it later. They're just a zombie that just does that near people, just impotent, can't stay or do anything, don't like it. It's okay, you're a poor mentally ill person taking your strangers. What are you supposed to do, bother them back? Bother other people? No. You quietly ignore it, everybody happier. Oh, well, since I was a kid, everyone on the subway this poor mentally ill person shaking near strangers, hitting themselves in the head, wiping, scratching. Everyone just politely looked at your newspaper, looked away, and they ran around the whole subway car while all 50 polite Canadians were just politely ignoring it. And, uh, and they ran away, or they calmed down, they chilled out. They, you know, they're like, ah, oh, never mind. You know, a little peer pressure, so. All right, men help people stop. Regular straight guys, they want to look at each other, stop bothering each other, make sure they respect each other, but everyone else to calm down. Well, girls and kids want to. They might need somebody in crisis too, just like you guys. But if all you do is bother people until they bother you, then you can't do anything, you go bother strangers, try to make them into zombies who bother people until they bother you, and you do it. So, no relation. It's not my wife. I don't want to be blamed and say, hey, buddy, what? you got are you in? There's still a mess in public. Says, no, 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 well, not mine. It just does that near people. So, Dundas University. So, All right, very, very quiet around here. I was like, nobody's leaving the house, nobody's getting sick, nobody's getting tested for coronavirus, nobody cares, everyone's at home, everyone's confused, and uh, yeah, they can respect each other, communicate well, we'll be able to sort it out. Not if zombies say, oh, English, I know what to do, touch head, face, wipe, scratch, act sketchy, no more, ha ha, yeah, forget it. And you're like, well, I can't look at that shit. It's fucking ugly, stressful, confusing, what am I supposed to do? Just be impotent while you're doing that? Not be able to say anything while you're busting my balls, grabbing my head, just being a mess near me? Nah, forget it, I'll do it to you. And then they're both zombies. Then they have to go bother strangers. Can't do much with each other. Don't respect each other. Can't be nice. Just bother each other. So, oh, zombie. It sneaks up on people and bothers them. It doesn't care about people. People don't care about it. It doesn't care if it dies from the coronavirus or spreads it. It doesn't care about that stuff. Zombie, zombie. Not like human, you know. Gotta be nice, polite, social distance, try and get past this soon. Zombie's like, fuck that. <laughs> I run too close to hundreds of people a day and bother them. I know they're not gonna like it. I'm a zombie. So, that's different. So, well, it's a living. You can do it. There's always been poor mentally ill people that made everyone near them uncomfortable, couldn't do anything with them. They ran around shaking near strangers. You don't bother them back. You don't bother other people. You just politely ignore it. Since I was a kid, everyone in the subway looks down, looks at your newspaper, looks away, and they finish running around and shaking and running away. Or maybe they calm down, sit somewhere, everybody happy. They like being ignored, want to stop. And uh, other people around relax, feel better, nice to each other, mind your business. And then, uh, you know, so it's fine. Well, you're a zombie too, you know. I don't want to be an obnoxious zombie. He's my big old man back, man balls, and man brain to bother people and turn them into zombies all day and night. So, yeah, just try to help people stop, you know? So, oh, they don't care. They, they come too close to you, they force you to see somebody you're not going to like, and then that's about it. So, oh, they try to make everyone jittery, make everyone zombie. They try to make everyone like, uh, or make you do it back. Well, you can't look at that shit. They, they know it's ugly. They have to force you to see it. You know it's ugly. So, can't really do much. So, that's okay, men help people stop. Regular straight guys, nothing to look at, no one to look. Forcing each other to, making sure they don't respect each other, like pretend bitchy, sketchy, zombie girlfriends. And uh, just impotent while they bother each other. Can't do anything, then run around, make everyone do it, and bother strangers. That's about it, right? 
not gay, like, you know, no, no gay guy, well, no nice gay guy goes to a club, bothers everyone in there and runs out. You know, you try to make things easier, make sure you get along and stuff. So no straight person does that. Zombie, 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 zombie. Oh, zombie, it doesn't care about the coronavirus. Zombies run too close to hundreds of strangers a day after they make their kids, family, and friends zombies. So they can't be nice and look at and talk to each other. They can only act sketchy. Then they run too close to strangers trying to force them to see it to make them zombies. They'll make you jittery and nervous, so they'll make you spaz out back. And they'll just keep doing it, and after a few months, you're a zombie. And you're acting sketchy with people you know, you can't do anything, be nice to each other. And then you have to go run around and bother strangers, because what else can zombies do? Zombies not happier after it makes you a zombie. Zombies just, oh shit, now this zombie's bothering me all the time. Okay, fine. So what can zombies do? They have to go bother strangers. But they like to ignore it and want to stop. And, uh... So I got lots of proof at manforwars.com, happy to help. Oh, I just keep my self-respect, don't bother anybody, don't be a lose self-respect, take anybody else's. And uh, yeah, so good time to stop. And people can, men can stop fighting to be a bitch. And instead, fight to be a man, fight for their people, fight for their country. Otherwise, all they can do is pretend to be your lying, bitchy, sketchy, zombie girlfriend or wife. And uh, bother you and you don't like it. And you have to bother them back because you can't just look at it, it's too ugly, stressful, confusing. So then when you bother each other and you can't do anything, then you have to go attack strangers. I know zombies will run too close to hundreds of strangers a day just to force you to see them look ugly or sketchy and run away. Zombie, zombie, no relation. Don't think it's my wife like, oh, buddy, were you arguing and now you're still arguing in public? They're a mess? No, not mine. It does that near people. They don't like it. So. Oh, it doesn't care. If you use English near it, it starts acting sketchy. So you can't use English near it. You can't use French. You can't mind your business. You can't act like a human, basically. If you act like a human, if you mind your business, you're nice to people, uh, then, then it'll attack you. So. Mm. It's okay. It just wants to force people to put up with it while they're impotent. You can't say or do anything. It's kind of gross. You have to bother them back. You can't do that. You can't say or do anything. You have to bother They're both zombies. Then you have to go bother other people. We always constantly bother each other, so. Oh, you see what it does. You try and use English or French or some other language near it, or you act human near it. See what happens. See what it does. If I put up with this, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not going to like it. So. That's okay, men help people stop. Safe black games, you can talk offline, save Canada. Otherwise, desperate zombies. Zombies used to bothering hundreds of people a day. You know, now just stuck bothering dozens of people a day because everyone's in quarantine. So they're used to running too close to hundreds of people a day, trying to make them jittery, make them spaz out back, make them zombies. But they went on quarantine, so zombie desperate. Well, it's okay. Last few years on video, nobody runs away because I'm wrong or crazy. People run towards me while I film it. They prove it. I document it. I make sure people understand they like being ignored and want to stop. Happy to help. Or never mind. It's all self-respect. Mind your business. Don't bother people. Lose your self-respect, take other people's. So that's what happens. Well, a zombie doesn't care about dying from the flu virus. It just, it just well, he wants to buy, make zombies. The Walking Dead will run too close to hundreds of strangers a day, bothering them, spreading the virus. You know, well, who does it care? It just bothers people, bother it back. So. All right. Well, a zombie. He likes to force you to put up with it. I like human, wants to be nice to you, wants to be nice to them. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Oh, zombie, don't think it's my old lady. Like we were arguing before, and now they're a little bitchy, sketchy mess in public. Not mine, it's a zombie. It just does that to your people. It's mine, there's no way. No, no, zombie doesn't care about this thing. Zombie just, ha, ha put up with it, not gonna like it. Ha, yeah, yeah, now we can't do anything. Now I have to bother other people. Ha, yeah. Well, people don't run away, they're not crazy or wrong. It's just, it is what it is. So I got the last few years on video, and more recently this corona crisis, more zombies desperate, because there's not as many people around to try and turn into zombies. You know, zombies usually attacking hundreds of people a day. No quarantine.